So you got a new capture card. You're super excited to use it on your next stream. You're setting everything up. You plugged it into your capturing PC. And then suddenly you realized it doesn't scan the left and right channel of the audio that is being sent to the capture card. Here, let me show you what I mean. So right here is my share screen of my OBS on the second PC, my capturing device. And as you can see right here, I have my capture card selected as the microphone. And on Windows, if you check here on the advanced tab of that capture card, it also just shows up as one channel 16 bit. But um, if you don't know what that means, it means it's only a mono track on OBS. And I'm at loss, or you're probably at loss too. But then I actually stumbled to this post right here on a thread at the forums of OBS Project. He has the same exact problem. He has a cheap capture card. He knows it's LPCM, which means it can scan left and right channel, but it only shows up as a one channel bar on OBS instead of two, which means stereo track. So I was scrolling down here and there was this savior right here named Rorotokun, and he made a guide on how to fix it. So how do you actually fix it? Well, I'll link this down in the description down below if you want to go and follow his guide. But yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. But I just want to give a big shout out to this guy right here. This is the application that he's talking about. It's called Mono to Stereo. It's developed by Toad King. So all you got to do now is head over to the releases, press on that, and then download the Mono to Stereo 64-bit. I bet you have a 64-bit system if you're going to be streaming. So open the folder of that and you're going to be receiving this file right here. Make sure to extract it on your desktop. Now, we're not done with the downloading stuff yet. I want you to head over to a website called VB Audio Software. But don't worry, we're not going to be downloading voice meter here. What I want you to download instead is the virtual audio cable and just press download that and then install that, you know, the rest. Now, after you download the virtual audio cable, you want to restart your system. You want to go back to where you have extracted the mono-2-stereo.exe file. You want to head over to the directory search, type in CMD, CMD would pop up. Um, it's already selecting the folder. Now, what I want you to do is go and select the program. So what we're going to do here is type that forward slash mono dash two dash stereo, the name of the file um, dot exe. And then now we can type commands. So if you want to know all the commands, you can type dash and then question mark, and then it should show you all the commands. But this is the main thing that I want you to look at. So as you can see here, there is this, uh, the third line right here, the dash um, in device, device name, out device, device file name, the buffer size, and then just skip this part right here. But essentially, the first thing that you're going to be doing here is type um, the same command. You always have to select the file before doing a command and do list dash devices. It will show all the device that you have that is installed on the PC, like plugged in or a virtual software. But this is what I want you to look at. Go and look at the second part right here, the active capture endpoints. So there you want to find your capture card. So this is my capture card, HD33 capture card. And I know that's my capture card because that's literally the name of the capture card. Now, remember, I asked you to install the cable, the virtual cable. Uh, it is going to be named cable input um, VB audio virtual cable. Now that you have those two things, we go back and scroll up again, and you have to follow this thing. Uh, you don't need to do the buffer size, but you can too if you want to try. But as you can see, you have to follow this thing. So you want to type mono to stereo.exe dash dash in device, the device name, then dash dash out dash device, and then the device name. So the in device would be your capture card. The out device would be the cable input. So um, for me, I have this notepad already set up, so I don't have to do it all the time. And yes, you can make a shortcut for this um, if you're good at CMD, but I just didn't bother because, uh, yeah, well, this works out for me. So again, for me, so you type in that monastery.exe, you select the program, you do your in device, which is 
for me, my HD 33 capture card, and then my out device will be the cable input. So once that is done, all I got to do now is press enter. But before I press enter, I just want to show you very, very quickly recording device. As you can see, you can hear the HD capture card. This is the cable uh, output. This is where um, the stereo version of this um, will go. So if I press enter here, let me do enter. Just don't mind if it finds a glitch or whatsoever. It's normal. As you can see, the real audio of the capture card is now being sent to the cable output. Now here, let me show you. I'm going to head over to OBS. As you can see, you can still see my microphone right here which is a mono, but now if I go ahead and add maybe a second input, if I go to audio, mic two, I will add cable output device, apply, and it can scan left and right channels. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear this. In my main PC, I have prepared a YouTube video that does left and right channels as you can see right here the mic one which is the you know still the mono bugged version of the capture card You probably heard it there that, uh, hey, there's no distinction between left, right, middle, or whatsoever. But now if I do this one, Now, sadly, you would still have to do that every time you restart your system and maybe the software bugs out, you have to reinsert the code. That's why I just have a notepad ready um, just so everything would work fine. Anyway, that is it for me. If this video did help you, then hit that like button, subscribe, share this with your friends or someone that is looking for the same bug fix. I guess that is all for me.